What's up guys, Jace Two Cents here and I made it all the way to Computex 2018 in Taipei, Taiwan this morning. I'm really tired. So if this video comes across as less than coherent, I apologize, but I digress. The show must go on. This year's coverage of Computex 2018 is sponsored by EVGA. Check out everything EVGA has to offer for your PC needs at EVGA.com. So it makes sense that we head on over to EVGA to see what they are showing this year. And we headed over to their game arena where Vince Kingpin himself is showing off a brainchild of his, something he has been working on for about seven years. Do you guys remember when I did my LN2 video last year and Vince came to my studio and kind of showed me hands on how to how to deal with the LN2 and how to how to pre-freeze the pot and to deal with the crystals and the condensation. And there was one thing I learned in that video is that there is a very specific range of temperature that you have to maintain based on the frequency you're trying to achieve and the voltage you're trying to achieve it at. If you overcool the CPU or you don't cool it enough, it's just as bad either way. So keeping it within that very specific temperature range is extremely important. Now the rate at which you pour the LN2 or the rate at which you let it boil off determines the temperature. And it's very easy to get out of range, which is why Vince himself, I say Vince himself because this is, he is the world champion of overclocking year after year after year is fierce competition and guys are constantly being innovative and that's why this is exciting because he developed a hybrid closed loop LN2 system. Now the reason why it's called a hybrid is because it doesn't actually loop. It doesn't go, it doesn't multi make multiple passes across the blocks for the CPU and the GPU. It actually gets, uh, there's a return tank and a supply tank. So you have one tank feeding the blocks and some actuators and some valves that are controlled by a custom software that was written in-house as well as a controller that was built and a PCB controller that was built in-house, all custom for this system. And then the LN2 that actually passes through and isn't you know, completely used, the liquid gets captured back in the return tank and it can actually be used again. So it makes it a very efficient loop. But what it also allows to happen here is the software and the valves are able to actually a much more efficiently and much more quickly control the temperatures based on the uh, temperature probe or the, um, I actually forgot what it's called. This is the, this is the, the, the tired part of me. But you know what? Gamers Nexus was actually there. Steve was there and he did a video on this as well. So you guys could go and check out his coverage for another perspective of this because I'm probably going to say something wrong due to my tired tiredness. But it, again, it doesn't matter because this is cool either way. The temperature probes in there are going to allow it to more quickly, more accurately control the temperatures between a specific, specified high and low end and that delta to keep things where they need to be. And because it is a sealed system, not dealing with off gassing or phase change nearly as much as going from liquid to gas as it does in a pot, it actually is three to five times more efficient at cooling and quicker at giving you that temperature change than if you were just pouring LN2 into a pot. So this is a very neat system. It's got a custom built distribution block that's taking LN2 from the supply tank and dividing it amongst the CPU and the GPU. And they each have their own valve to control the flow rate. And then of course they meet back in a return line and go to the return tank. In fact, if you're watching the EVGA live stream, then you probably saw this being demonstrated because they were demonstrating how this works and they were playing some Fortnite. But the cool thing is you can determine the temperature you want it to run at. In fact, when they were doing gaming, they had it running at a very cons conservative 40C, which is right around where water cooling could get you on this. And at that type of temperature, a tank like this would last you about a week. But if you're doing world, clock, uh, world class overclocking attempts, then Vince can actually burn through one of these massive tanks, which I think was 160 liters is what I think they said it holds in approximately two to three days. So yeah, not exactly the most practical use for home use, but if you're out there trying to break world records, then this is neat because you can capture your unused LN2 and get a very consistent control over the cooling environment that you guys are, that you're trying to establish with this level of cooling. So I thought this would be a cool first video to show you how far LN2 and exotic cooling has actually come and what Kingpin has been up to. And this is why the guy is notorious for just breaking and shattering world records. As I said, guys, Gamers Nexus also did a video on this. Why don't you guys head on over and check out their channel because you might actually learn something versus my incoherent rambling of being overtired. But anyway, I digress. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. We're gonna be doing some cool stuff here at Computex, trying to give you a first look, more of a point of view, first person point of view vlog style 
uh, experience here of Computex 2018. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, we will see you in the next one.